Come on, it's clear. Uh, hurry, hurry! <sighs> Took your damn time. Oh, you're welcome. <sighs> He's not used to relying on other people. I'm sorry. We'll be safe in here, won't we? Safer here than out there, that's for sure. Hey, do you know anything about what's going on around here? It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. Nobody's answer. Father? Help me. We have to get inside. Just hold on a bit longer, Papa. Hello? Anybody home? Maybe a familiar voice. Louisa! Open up! It's me, Elena! Stop shouting. You'll draw the monsters. Julian, calm down. Who's this? A friend! Stay back. <laughs> Father, for God's sake, Julian, let us in. No, no, they'll smell the blood. You'll endanger us all. My father will die out here. That's not my problem. What's going on? These people want to let a dying man into our home. Come now, these people are our friends. Go on, go inside. Come now, this way. You're not from this village. Uh, no. I'm Ethan. Yulian, go make yourself useful and check the grounds. I said go! Well, if Elena trusts you, then so do I. Come inside, Ethan. Wait here. I'll check on the others. Inside, the others are waiting. What the fuck is this? Outsiders, you're gonna get us all killed! Quiet! Anton! He helped Leonardo and Elena. We were doing fine by ourselves. Please, Ethan, take a seat. Is this all that's left? From your entire village? All that's left? All that's left? There is no one left! A worthless... Invalid, a stupid, wailing bitch, and you, you drag a bloody man and an outsider in here like it's nothing and expect to be all safe. There is no safe. Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. But tomorrow, tomorrow we'll all be dead. Just like her damn husband. <laughs> Put a sock in it, Roxana! That's enough! This house has protected my family for generations. And drunk or not, you are all welcome and safe in here. Whatever. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? We don't know. One day we were a quiet, devout village, and the next, the monsters came and attacked us. And they... they kept coming. Wait, Louisa. Where is your husband? Did they... No. N no, he, he is out there. Somewhere. He, he, he went to get help. Yes, yes, that's... that's it. He, he went to fetch help. Let us pray. For him. For all of us. Good idea. Come. Gather. Who 
great ones, hear our voice, together as one in reverence. We call on thee, within the endless dark, to deliver us into fate's hands. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, so we make our sacrifice and await the light at the end. In life and in death, we give you glory, Mother Miranda. Now, the tea should be ready. Come help me, Elena, please. That prayer, I've heard it before. There was an old woman near the graveyard. <laughs> um, bitch is crazy as a bag of rats. There is wisdom in her devotion, though. And I hope it protected her as it shall protect us. <laughs> what are you doing? Leonardo, what's wrong? Are you okay? No! did the right thing. Elena, Elena, no! There's nothing you can do! Papa! This entire place is collapsing! You couldn't save him. He was already gone. Leave me alone! No, we're getting out of here, together. Get out of here. Damn, the fire's moving fast. <coughs> if we could just get through this wall.
<clears throat> what are you thinking? Step back. We can bust out with this. Let me back up again. The fire! There isn't any time! <laughs> Nowhere to go but up. <laughs> Grab on! Hurry! <laughs> Let's move! Don't worry, and try not to breathe in the smoke. I know! Thank you, Ethan. <coughs> You're kind. I hope your family is safe. I do too. Once we get out of here, maybe you'll get to meet them. <coughs> That'd be good. Come on, it'll hold. <coughs> there, that's our way out. Oh, thank God. But then, the village is still full of monsters. We can't fight them, there's too many. Hey, hey, don't talk like that. We'll find a safe house to put you in until I can find my daughter. My hunch is she's in that old castle. No, that place is full of nothing but blood and death. And I don't want to be alone while you're... Father? <gasps> Elena, no, that's not him, not anymore. <laughs> he said my name. Wait, it's not safe! Oh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Oh. Stay there! Yeah. Come on! Give me your hand! Ethan, go! Save your daughter! Elena, no. don't give up! Yeah. Reach for me! Yeah. God damn it! Why is everyone dying on me? This is... This is just too much. I just... I don't get it. This place has gone mad. Why the fuck is this happening again? <sighs> Shit! Visited them all. 
Nothing but blood and death. think anyone was left. You must be pretty tough. Huh. Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're not local. Even better. <laughs> Mother Miranda's gonna love you. <laughs> You're whining. We're almost there. <laughs> the man is of no real use to anyone else, and my daughters do so love entertaining foreigners. Furthermore, I can assure you that you entrust the mortal to House Dimitrovsk. My daughters and I shall deliver to you the finest. Ugly. I wanna see! He's away! You mean... Don't you shut the fuck up! What? Where? You mean you'll screw around with him in private, and where's the fun in that? Give him to me, and I'll put on a show that everybody can enjoy. Ugh, so gauche. What do we care for bread and circuses? The man thing's suffering is assured. Gag, gag, if a man's dick is cut off in the castle, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I've heard all your arguments. Some of you were less persuasive than others, but I've made my decision. Heisenberg, the man's fate is in your hands. Mother Miranda, I must protest. Heisenberg is but a child, and his devotion to you is questionable. Give the mortal to me, and I will ensure he is ready. Shut your damn mouth! And don't be a sore loser! Go find your food somewhere else. Quiet now, child. Adults are talking. I'm the child. You're the one who's arguing with Miranda's decision. You wouldn't know responsibility if it was well done. Oh, keep glory! Them. One day your head will actually fit your ego. Fight, fight, hey, fight, don't fight, I get a say in this? Silence! <laughs> My decision is final. There will be no argument. Remember from whence you came. Thank you. Huh. Lycans and gentlemen, we thank you for winning. And now let the games begin. Let's see what you have there. Ethan Hunters. Get ready. No! Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one, showtime! Ah, Jesus Christ! That's right! 
Run for your life! Very nice, Ethan! <laughs> Freaks have rows. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winters. How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. A hero searching for his daughter. Though I must say, that castle arouses suspicion. Yeah, and so do you. <laughs> I am but a humble merchant. Here? Oh, forgive my manners. Call me the Duke. Now to business. Weapons, ammunition, healing salves, anything you desire, I can provide. You wish to make a purchase? I've prepared a special present for you. Ah, if only you had the funds. I saw you eyeing that one. Ah. <sighs> Please come again. be here.
<laughs> we meet again. Duke, why are you here? Where there's coin to be made. <clears throat> and have you found your daughter? No. If she is truly here, the lady of the castle would have kept little Rose in her private chambers, would she not? Domitresque? The very same. Why don't you take a look? Maybe you'll get lucky. And speaking of looking, care to make a purchase? As you wish. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications and will do them for a small fee. Thank you for your patronage! <laughs>